Morning. It looks dry, Andy, doesn't Andy. it? There's going to be 29 mil of rain today. <laughs> Nash are going off to truck fest. So I've got my waterproofs. Should be fun. Half past seven on a Sunday. We don't normally get up this early. Let's jump on this and get some cows fed. It's started. Hey, Nash, we're ready. We're off. We're going. No matter what, I bought the tickets last night, so <laughs> we're definitely going. <laughs> It is busy. So it's wow. not raining yet. I'm just waiting for this like downpour to come ash. It's gonna come. I'm sure it's gonna come. And we're in and the first thing that I'm drawn to is this. Huge. A Ford FW30. So somebody will let me know in the comments how many horsepower this has got. It's very, very tidy though, isn't it Ash? Has it got a pickup hitch? No, it doesn't drop down, does it? Go and tell them to put a trailer on with this. <laughs> yeah, nice. I know what women feel like now at nightclubs. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm all about. Some Yui mugs. Very nice. Also, I would love one of these properly done up like that. That is tidy. So this MB track is a little bit different. Reverse drive. Mr. Joe Seal. Hello, we all right? Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> so I think back in day, we used to have one of these, Ash. Because I remember you used to engage and disengage PTO on that handle at side as I can remember one of these handles and uh, there was that little seat in back and I used to sit on that I thought it was like the height of luxury because the other tractor we had were like a case stockman and that had an actual proper seat in it and stuff yeah, I wouldn't mind one of them actually I think that that'd be the sort of tractor I'd get if I wanted to do an old one maybe because I can't afford a, a, a unimog or a, an MB track <laughs> Well, we've got some old machines here, haven't we? Look at that. The Marshall. Look at this case. So this little tractor here. She's crushing stones. <laughs> How many does it do an hour? <laughs> I've just seen somebody, Ash, who definitely would not pay to have a go on their wheels, would they? they, they they'd have a go on with us if we paid, but they definitely wouldn't. You'll find out who it is in a second. Hello, Mr. B, the Hi. Yorkshire farmer. How are we doing? Are you going to show us around your fantastic vehicle? I will do, yeah. yeah? I'll show you around. I'll show you now. I'll, I'll show um, you everything. Well, no, let's just do it now. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Can I get rid of the cup? Okay, we'll have to pause. Do you need a, your stylist to come back? Yeah, yeah. So we, me and Ash are extremely surprised that uh, Richard has been able to make it today because rain is forecast and this this wagon does not go out in the rain. Well, the only reason I came is because you were going to promise me a free pint. <laughs> <laughs> you always get a free pint out of me anyway, don't you? Whether it's promised or not. No, it is a 1973. Atkinson border, but it's fitted with Australian cab. These cabs were built in Australia because the British cabs would not withstand the conditions in Australia. So, because it's an Australian cab, does that mean it's got aircon? Uh, it's not got aircon. <laughs> but I'll show you something which they came up with, it's really inventive. Go on then. You look up there. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Air vents. Yeah. So then it sucks all clean air up so there's no dust off the road. And then it goes through into the cab and the cab's double skinned. But also on the back here, if the light, they put some the air cleaner to it. Oh, right. And the engine kept with clean air then. I've always done them with the air sign. Yeah, Are these something they you've done? New, yeah. yeah. They're, they're just taken from the original copies. Nice. Uh, so I've only made all new. Oh, Richard, I'm disappointed. Your pedals are a little bit mucky. 
Yeah, well, you had your mucky boots on I this morning. <laughs> oh, does Ash. And um, to use this one, not use this one. Use it. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna stop you it quite close, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only short. Say how big cab is. What's, what's that thing hanging? What's that thing hanging down, Joe? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Loving it if you were here, but she's uh, four before in today in the Daihatsu. So he's fluffing the dried hay up with the waffler, uh, ready for bailing. Um, I told you we can't go on it, we can't, we can't go on it. <laughs> so we got all the stationary engines here. Look at the size of this one though. Beginning. Just as far as you can see, Ash, stationary engines. I literally, right on the moon. Question What's this? We used to have one of these on farm. The fella behind us is like Big Mick on way to MOT station. <laughs> Do we a bit more straw? Just saying, we're asking where the notter is, and then this man's this man's the notter. <laughs> Check this out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? This here is a snowblower. Should walk behind. By the looks of it, could be Andy's new straw blower rash. Do you reckon he'd be impressed? Nice stable yard there. I haven't seen many tractors like that with the engine mounted the other way. Look at the cog behind that wheel ash. That's good as a big one, isn't it? That might be a bit bigger though. 3588. Eight. Be alright pulling out of junctions on that, wouldn't you? Jeez, how long is the bonnet? I'll stride it out. One, two, three, four, maybe four meters to you. Crazy. That's what you get inside. Better's here. <laughs> the green section now. Right in the midst of the John Deere's now. 30, 50 there. Uh, 6, 9, 10 With all the flags on the roof Got a few air ones on that as well And oh we've got some bigger ones up here It's a rip and stand We've got some newer ones I know it's all about old tractors But we also like the new tractors as well So it's a big 7R Just up here looked in the window of this absolute weapon And this R210R 6210R Has um, more horsepower at boost than this Supposedly. That's how far tractors have come in it. Jeez. 240 horsepower. Just huh? reading the blurb on the side and it says it's still used on farm this for subsoiling. 
nice to see that it's still in use. Wow, we've got the Ripon Farm Services stand here. Nice forager there. And then the old combine harvester. Let's go. With the uh, four meter cut, remember? Young man's just uh, getting ready to do some combining. <laughs> Marshalls look tidy. Why do we change the colour? They got into bed with I think that's all this ball video is going to be full of ash. This looks tidy. That looks smart. This is done up well. <laughs> Me and Ash are going to look on here, see if we can find a TS100 because uh, that's what we used to we used to have. An absolute weapon. But I think the, uh, the showstopper here will be like a county. 1884. I've always wondered how these steered. And there's two big rams. Mick no, they're definitely not getting in there. Yeah, big Mickey's not getting in there. <laughs> there's two big rams there. Oh no, they're not rams. They're what drive it, Ash. That's how you get drive to front wheels. No, it's no prop shaft up middle, it's to each each side. Something new there. It's a different way of approaching transmitting power in it to front wheels. Well, yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah, but if one prop shaft goes, you can still go it on the side. <laughs> just chatting with the guys there, and the tractor that we've just been looking at, the uh, County, one of those sold the other day for £215,000 plus commission. Crackers. Bit of potato planting on the Massey Ferguson stand now. I think we found a tractor for M. Not to be stereotypical or anything, Emily, but get ready for it. It's not got cows on it. It's just because it's pink. <laughs> now, this loading shuffle. Shuffle? Shuffle? Shovel <laughs> looks a weapon. What make is it? Oh, it's New Holland. Oh, yeah, it's big. Do you reckon it is 17 ton then? Must be. Huge. This is a bit different. This is really tall. Quite tall, isn't it? I don't need to film it. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take cover. It's got two arms. Talking about rain all the time. It's just not happening, does it? Look at this. Matches. Ma matches you. What matches me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we must have sent the stewards out to get the next uh, load. Oh, it's Ferguson next, right? Got a massive with a back actor on it. Nice. Gonna go and check these shepherds up out. Want to trace his friends? are both one owner tractors if you remember the video in mr john deere there is how many horsepower are there me 35 on this one 38 horsepower and 50 horsepower at back so um maybe next time we run it mill up we'll we'll get that uh, ford and super major on it <laughs> we might get dusty though mick is that all right <laughs> this looks fairly interesting so they've cut away all the side of the tractor and you can see into things like well that be will that be starter motor or alternator alternator into the gearbox oh he's been different back 
Yeah, I like that sort of thing. I guess it don't work. Can't get much oil in it, Ash. It's a bit low on dipstick. <laughs> missing two wheelers as well. Yeah. So I wonder if this transfers the uh, power in the same way. It does. Oh, I've learned something new today, Ash. Yeah, it must be. So is there any other tractors that transfer power to the front wheels in the same way? <laughs> Says it's not green, I don't want it. It's rain started now, hasn't it, Ash? I might need my coat back in a minute. <laughs> I knew I'd brought him for some reason. I, 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 I couldn't work out why I was fetching him, but I've, I've worked it out now. He's great at carrying coats. He's absolutely fantastic at it. Celebrity! <laughs> ah! <It's> Emmy, <isn't> <laughs> Me and Ash now have headed to the gourmet grill. Uh, Ollie's in there, stuff in his face. Um, we're just going to see if they're doing a four foot kebab because uh, we fancy another one of them. <laughs> the big Ford's in the arena. That is a weapon, that one. My best asset. I remember Don used to have one of these, Ash. An 8200. So weapon. Look at the length of bonnet on it. That'd be a usable classic, Ollie. A 779. <laughs> so we don't do much silage in, but I appreciate stuff like this. Look at that, what a weapon. Really tidy as well, it doesn't look like it's done much at all, it's just been restored really well. Who wants to put Ford badge on back? That can't be standard. <laughs> so there's quite a few of these Ford uh, Jubilee editions. I think just because of the, uh, the occasion of it being the Jubilee weekend, there's a lot of them on show. Not many as tidy as this one though. Really well done, isn't it? Really nice. I don't think them tires have done much ash for some reason. <laughs> no. This is watching a professional YouTuber in action. <laughs> Just found out how many horsepower it is. I wonder if anybody can guess and let us know in comments, but I've got two tractors that have got more horsepower than that. Haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Which is crackers, because it just looks such a massive unit. The, uh, um, the just shows how far things have come in, what, 30 years? No, well, I believe these are from Jubilee, Ash. So when the Queen came to the throne, that was the tractors that were being used around the world. <laughs> it's brought a crowd, hasn't it? Hey? What? No? Is it a Cummins? Is it? 320 horsepower. Weapon. <laughs> it is a business, isn't it? Harry Graham's. He loves it. Look at that. What a beast. Yeah. <laughs> for cable drums, for moving cable drums, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, both using cable drums. But the jockey, um, they went at one side only right through it. So the jockey went through it. Yeah. And now you're doing weddings and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's only like for weddings and like, uh, we're going to shows like this. Oh, nice. Yeah. It does look really well and it sounds really well as oh, well, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Business. Yeah, business. <laughs> right, Ollie's gone now. He's getting a driving lesson. having a very big nerd moment now. Look He's looking up. for the horsepower uh, and the weight of the tractor. 
Yeah, it's going to find out that information for us right now. And we've got the professional YouTuber. Oh no, he's on TikTok now. Is it turbocharged? Certainly is. Oh, certainly is. Wait, it's 14 tons, are it? 14 ton. So we're just saying now things have changed so this tractor here is um none of the windows are open there isn't a sunroof uh, we've just got blowers here but it's no aircon no. not none, none whatsoever um no, no vario gear box in here no fridge no fridge <laughs> so we got we got um your main gears there and then some more gears on the side here and throttle lever for the um hydraulics that's about it oh a washer bottle at the back here that looks new yeah one, Ash. i'm ready to go see you later everybody i'm getting my helicopter <laughs> oh business impressive Yeah. It's like if somebody asked me to build a tractor, this is what it would look like. It's that real far back, aren't you? To drive it. Yeah. Again, like that other tractor that we saw, Ash, it's got like a big cog in the back yeah, of the wheel to, to transfer drive across. And it looks to me, you drive it with these, don't you? You drive it with the with the back wheels, putting brakes on either side. And the front must just be like a trolley. Just a tr trolley wheel, isn't it? It just goes wherever it's... Yeah. So there must be, is there like a diff underneath? I can't see one. He's like desperate for Yorkshire pudding right now. He must have Yorkshire pudding craving or something. <laughs> he wants me to build a massive, massive Yorkshire pudding. The world's biggest Yorkshire pudding. World's biggest Yorkshire with, pudding. With beef inside, obviously. Comes from South Yorkshire. And gravy. So yeah, if anybody's got a massive oven, let me know and uh, we can oh, sort it out. Skip. Big skip. A skip. Big skip. Some spales on fire. Yeah. <laughs> with a rapeseed oil in the bottom before you sit the batter in. <laughs> Easy. And then you can make some pancakes with what's left. Away you go. There Six we go. Six wire brushes there, Ollie, look. Ten pound. Ten pound. Jeez. Cheap. Very important last This is a model of a, a ship engine. That's just yeah. to give you some scale, like the man there. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah. Wow. And it all works off compressed air. Um, mm -hmm. If we had some compressed air, we could do it. We need uh, Emmy, I don't we? Start blowing that pipe. <laughs> How much work has gone into making these and how long did it say it took you? Six years, that's That one took you six years. Wow. To start. It's like all, all, all his vintage tractors, this. He pull started. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> oh.
Oh, I got you. You're professional at this pram pushing now, aren't you? <laughs> I've walked around with this coat on, jumper on, thick trousers on, because it was going to rain. And there's just a little shower now, which I'm meant no, has it? Oh, the British weather, eh? What's it like? Them dodgems were absolutely mint. Like they lasted a fair time. They did, didn't they? they? Like... It weren't like a you know a two minute job. It's over. We were a good five, five to ten minutes. Yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I got Ollie loads of times. I got Ash loads of times. And the main thing, I got Mr. B Yorkshire Farmer, full <laughs> on. Uh, we Ollie Bugs. Desperate to bring us here to the uh, Dolls House exhibition. <laughs> Somebody over in the stairs there. Don't overpopulate you with bears, but if anybody wants to see the bears collection, Ollie's got it on his video, so check him out afterwards. Ollie Vlogs, I got contact. <laughs> He's done a full review on every single bear that's in here. <laughs> for the train. <laughs> to get on. And we're off. This train is an absolute business. <laughs> uh oh, we're going in the tunnel. <laughs> Back into the station, are we? Oh no, are we going round again? He's thinking about coming to Newby Hall. Then this train ride is actually really, really good. Um, amazing what you can see from it. Little tunnel. Um, train driver absolutely loves it. Loves blasting that on. I think he's enjoying driving the train more than we are riding it. See it under the tree. It looks like it's snowed. All blossom. It's been snowing, Ollie. It's been snowing. <laughs> I've just seen this building, and I'm sure we used to have one of these at our old farm. Um, That's an arsehole. Yeah, but it's like, so you'd put like a mule on it or a um, horse or whatever, and they'd walk it round, and then I think that'd run, I'm guessing it's like a mill or something, or something, it runs something. I'm not sure, somebody will tell us in comments though what it does run, definitely, but I'm sure we had one at the old farm. The thing that Ollie can read, because I was saying it's like for a mill or something in there, but it's actually a pump house. <laughs> and Ollie's like, oh yeah, it's for a pump house, isn't it? And the I'm big like, sign says, horse yeah. wheel pump house. Yeah, yeah, it does say horse wheel pump house on this sign here. <laughs> here we go, it's the big kid. <laughs> so it's all getting packed away now. TM180. Ash is busy. So we've stayed that long that everybody is packing up. Look at this unit. That was nice, isn't it? An R500 Econ. So they who make the uh, hedge cutters. The R580 there. Seal. I want that ridge! That's well cool! So I'm going for a proper thumbnail, seeing as all the uh, bits and bobs had gone. I'm getting in everybody's way here as well, by the way. Yeah, what a weapon. Right, me and Ash are going home. Bye to Ollie, bye to Charlotte, bye, bye to James. <laughs> Waving. Don't forget, check it out next year. Yeah, check it out Thanks next year. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been such a long video. I hope you've found something that you enjoyed in it. If you have, please press that like button, share it, and subscribe if you've not already. See you tomorrow. Bye.